And we're back with the screen team on today's talk, 930 KWOC. It's all brought to you by our friends at 33 Productions and Whitworth Gift Chest Jewelers, where Walmart is next door to them. We're going to review our theatrical release of the week. It's called Fast and the Furious 6. It stars Vin Diesel and The Rock and a bunch of other people. And (laughs) 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 And Johnny, what would you think of it, man? I thought it was... uh... It was a good movie, you know, like I think every movie is pretty much. <laughs> but uh, it's just classic Fast and Furious, you know. Have you seen all the other? I've seen, I've seen all of them. Have you? And uh, you know there's two people, two kinds of people in the world, right? Like yeah. those who like Fast and Furious and those who don't. Yeah, I'm one of the, I'm one of the latter. Yeah, I, I figured that. Uh, it was action-packed. Lots of fast so cars. is this know? like your favorite one out of the series or which one's your favorite? I think this is going to be my favorite. Really? Yeah. Is that because it's the only one, like the like the most recent one? Yeah, really. <laughs> That's usually how it goes. Yeah, I'm with you. I, you, I thought you it was... Have you seen any other ones? Well, of course I've seen the other ones. All five of the other ones? I'm sorry, I haven't seen Tokyo Drift. But then nobody cares if you I've... see Tokyo Drift. <laughs> so you've seen the other ones? Yeah. And Chris hasn't seen any of the other this ones? This is my first one. This isn't the first time this has happened amongst us. Really? Yes, he has no history. I uh, have a minor in history, by the way. Yeah, U.S. <laughs> history, not movie history. Dude, I can smoke you in history. Not movie history. You want to bet? Okay, no, that would be a bad bet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, this movie, um, very cool, I think, the way they brought everybody back together mm-hmm. uh, to, you know, y- you had you had one type of... Of Fast and Furious, and then you had another type of Fast and Furious, and that has a whole lot to do with the two lead guys. Right. Um, and when they brought them both together in this movie, I thought that was phenomenal, and it was really exciting to me. And uh, I went to the movies with uh, Stacy Anderson to see this, while you two went to see this together, right? Right. Um, so I went with Stacy, and this was another one of those times when Stacy was just excited to be there to get to go to the movies, even knowing she wasn't going to be giving any reviews. Uh, because we got really excited right off the bat in the opening sequence and stayed on the edge of our seat. You know, like, we're, we're the kind of people who we move around. We, like, lean forward and get all intense, and then we laugh out loud. We're those people, and we, like, sometimes we even say things to each other during the movie, you know, like make a comment about the hottie on the screen and stuff <laughs> like that. So, um yeah, there was a lot of that going on, and um, there was a nice crowd of people there to enjoy the movie, and we didn't get you know hushed or anything, so um, that was good. But I think we I, had like four in our theater. Yeah, we had <laughs> we had a handful. Well, it was exciting, and I of course I always like seeing a movie when there's a lot of people in there because that tends to help you feed off of what's on the screen, and I'm not really sure why that dynamic is there, but it is. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was exciting. That was like one of the best. Fast and Furious is I've seen in a long time and and I just I like the way it you know it I don't know it just it pulls everything together and gives you what you believe is going to be an awesome you know roundup I guess or or finishing touch to the series and then they blow you away in the end. Well, you know, uh, the Fast and Furious movies are like not in chronological order like the Star Wars movies. Mm-hmm. How they're all backwards and stuff yeah i don't understand why they do it like that but like the, this newest one is uh happens after all the other ones except tokyo drift it happens before tokyo drift what really yeah. no way you're making that up i swear because i mean i can't because of the end scene the no. final scene okay no. uh it's just han one of the guys in the movie okay. yeah the, mo- the bike rider oh i, I don't I can't yeah. just give it away. You no, know? you can't give anything away, but I, I think you're wrong. No, it is. I'll, I'll tell you after. Okay. <laughs> now I'm really curious. Like, I guess I need to revisit this series. So I guess no, you don't. Re- do your homework if you're going to do this movie. But, um, yeah, man, you got me totally peaked. Like, mm-hmm. wow. Wow. How's that happen? I, uh, Luke and I both have the uh, same description of this movie. It stinks. Whatever. Okay. Honey, that's just because you don't understand cars. Uh, has nothing to do with cars, man. <laughs> it I, has everything to do with cars. I like speed. That, that had, has nothing to do with a car. It, it had a fast bus in it. I was all about that. <laughs> what, did that you was, not, what did you not like, Chris? Uh, well, for starters, okay, 
you know, I didn't watch any of the other Fast and Furious movies, but I got a pretty good concept of the storyline and how things went, you know, just by watching the first few minutes of this film. The whole storyline is is dumb. These guys, they're living, you know, in this tropical paradise. They have all this money. Granted, they're wanted men, but everything is good. They're all criminals, and they're living off of millions Every, that they stole. Everything right. is good. Yeah. And all of a sudden, this one cop, The Rock, comes in and says, hey, I need you for a job. And Vin Diesel's like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. can't understand a word he's saying. And it's like, <laughs> so they're gonna give they're gonna give up everything to go to go save a girl that he hasn't seen like in a few years. That's the whole basis of the story to to find a girl that he hadn't seen in a few years. So let's give up everything. Let's give up my other girlfriend, who's fine with it, by the way. The other girlfriend's like, sure, go ahead, find yeah. your old Well, flame. that's his wife. She says, hey, if that were my husband, I'd go get him. So Should go get that. her. Yeah. So there. I'm just saying, hon, if if you were lost someplace, it, never mind. Let's move yeah, on. Yeah, let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> but the acting in this film was horrible. Vin Diesel, my goodness, that guy is terrible. Hey, we're a family. Uh, blah, blah, blah. He's better than Sylvester Stallone. Yeah. I, I'm not arguing that fact, <laughs> man. <laughs> They're in the same boat, as far as I'm concerned. Them and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, just a lot of the storylines were just so. Everything was wrapped so you know nice and tightly, and everything was fine. And I like action films. Don't get me wrong, I like them a lot. But I like realistic action films, like James oh. Bond. They make those. Um, excuse me. Well, I'm not done yet. They make those stunts look like they could really happen. In this movie. Not even close, Dude, man. When Not he even jumps close. off the car to save the girl that across would never the bridge. Oh, yeah. that, oh. that would never happen. Not even close to happen. <laughs> it almost didn't happen. That that's the excitement of it. It's that it does happen. Oh it's a movie. The CGI in this film was horrible. I didn't even notice. I'm with you. Yeah, it was way too fun. Well, you know what? The rest of America agrees with you guys. Look, so. all I'm saying is if you're going to see this movie, see it at the theater because the surround sound and the widescreen and all that, the effects of it, the, the enthusiasm of the of the action that you see, that you say is bleh. Um, I just licked the microphone. That's really gross. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say this, guys. I will say this. The best part of the movie was the last two minutes of the film. I can't, I can't give it away, but it makes me want to see Fast and Furious 7. I will. Oh, yeah. I will admit that, dude. The last two minutes was awesome. That's what I, yeah. I'm like. You were thinking I was going to blow it a while ago. Didn't we? Yeah. yeah, I have a tendency to do that. Yes, she uh, does. So I'm not going to. But yes, there will be another. And yes, I will be seeing it. All right. So that's the Fast and Furious. It is in theaters now. Johnny, man, we appreciate you, brother. We appreciate all your dedication and work you've done for the screen team. We thank you, and brother, best of luck in uh, in the army. Thank you, and thanks for having me on here. I've waited well. He's in the army now. He's blowing Reveille. He's a boogie woogie bugle boy company B. Wow. I think that's way past his time, hon. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hon, you got the realm uh, next week. What do you have for oh, us? Oh, wow. What do I have? Now You See Me. We're going to see that at the movie theater. That's a magician movie, right? Yeah. Mm. Um, uh, my DVD pick is going to be Dark Skies. Okay. Uh, about aliens and such. And, and then personal? Uh, my personal pick is The Seventh Sign with Demi Moore. Okay. We'll be joined again by Stacey Anderson, and that comes your way next Saturday at 6. For Sabrina, Johnny, Chris, and Luke, we are the screen <laughs> team on today's talk, 930 KWOC.